Well, back in the starting line, here we go with Tony Martone and and John Andrico will set this pair up in just a moment. But first, we're going to go to the far end, Lauren. Frank just caught you getting out of the car. You had no idea that you even went in 5.53. You actually thought you went a lot slower than that. What happened on this pass? Well, when it left the start line, it just started shaking. The track is that good, and we just don't have the right setup for today, and I just pedaled it in low gear, and I can't believe it went that fast. That just goes to show me how good the air is here in the track, and, like, we're missing it by a mile. I mean, but we got one more round here that we need very important, but whatever it is, it's going to be, it's going to be. We still had a great year, whatever happens. Not going to lie, we've been looking for big things out of you this weekend. <laughs> Everybody out there with an alcohol funny car that's disappointed you ran 553, raise your hand. I'm looking. No hands up. <laughs> There's Steve Boggs. Yes, yeah, Steve Boggs, about these conditions. You better have an hour of free time because that's what he's going to give you. I talked to him right before this round. I said, what is it? He said, well, it is so good out there on the racetrack right now. we got to get that wheel speed up. He said, but if we're too aggressive, we're going to shake. He said, if we don't have enough power, it's just going to pull the motor right down on the starting line. And John and Drake in the right lane. That's a race car that can run in the low 560s, high 550s, playing a game on its home track. You saw this track temperature. Yeah. It's like bombing compared to what it was in the first round. And, and that's on the track. That's the track temperature. The ambient air temperature is considerably cooler. It's nine <laughs> degrees. Lots of coats, lots of gloves, lots of excitement. Oh, blew it up. Yes, he did. And this one's going to be John Andrika. The 608, 251. It wasn't pretty, but it's good enough. And look what that win means in the starting line. It was a great win. Hey, let me tell you, you open up the day when you've got Mickey Furrow in the first round and then Tony Bartone in the second round, and you get out of both of them running 6 0. You know, this just might be your day. The Rick Jackson center point team doesn't hurt their point chances. They could not claim this race, but it's going to hurt them in the pride department because they came out here expecting to somewhere along the line meet up with Frank Manzo. And the reaction back on the starting line, that's worth looking at one more time. We're in the semis at Maple Grove. John, your guys certainly were excited. We mentioned that earlier that you had detuned your car because the track is so good. Now, when you were facing Tony Bartone, did you have that opportunity to play around like that? Uh, no, we didn't have that opportunity. Uh, he's a, you know, a great guy to run against. That was the first time I ever ran him. So uh, he could put the numbers down, and we figured we had, you know, we had to run real good. And I don't know what we ran, but we got the wind light, and... You know, here we are going to the next round, so. You ran a 608, and congratulations are in order for that win, but also other congratulations are in order. I understand you just got married. Yes, yes, uh, I'm a blessed man. Uh, I just got married last Saturday uh, to a great girl, Ruth Ann, at home, hello. And our crew <laughs> member got married uh, yesterday, and they're here, but I do have some bad news. My, my brother's father-in-law passed away during the week, so we have a lot of highs and a lot of lows, but this is a good one, baby, at our home track. All right. So, Take care. Congratulations. Hey, Lauren, you got an anniversary coming up too, don't you? I sure do. One year and about 28 days and counting. <laughs> Chad, you're a very lucky man as well. Hey, it truly is an idyllic setting around here. You come around the corner, heading toward Maple Grove. You never know what you'll run into. It really is a pretty place to race. Auto Plus Nationals continues in just a moment.